Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export a video from Adobe Premiere Pro onto Instagram. I wanna show you all the correct export settings from resolution to frame size to bit rate. Now, if you get this right, your Instagram video is really gonna stand out because a lot of people are not doing this correctly, especially if they're using a video editor to edit their video and have to export from that. If you use your phone to record and then upload from there, it's pretty straightforward. But if you edit your video with a video editor and export, it's a little bit tricky. And Instagram doesn't make it all that much clear what you should do with your settings. And I've been doing this for big brands through my video production company for almost six years now. So this is just from all the knowledge and all the things I had to learn throughout the way. I'm going to make a separate video for exporting to IGTV Instagram Reel and Instagram Story because those are vertical formats on Instagram. This video is gonna focus on the Instagram feed which basically takes up three different sizes. You could do square size, one by one, 16 by nine, which is your regular size video that you see on a movie or YouTube, and then you'll get your four by five aspect ratio which we'll talk about too. So those three different sizes are what we're gonna focus on this video for the Instagram feed Watch the other video if you're going to IGTV, Instagram Reel, or Instagram Story. Now stick with me through the end of the video so I could show you the whole process, including uploading directly to Instagram right from your computer. If you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro, all the resources, including a free trial to Adobe Premiere Pro, is in the description below this video. Let's jump in. The very first thing I wanna talk about is the dimension and the size of your video. So in this case, I shot the video in 4K resolution, but right now for Instagram, I'm going to export in 1080p or HD resolution. There are three different ways you could post your video to Instagram feed. There are three different sizes. The first one is the one you see here, which is 16 by nine aspect ratio. The normal way you see movies and YouTube videos and so on. And this is my video in that size. And just to show you the sequence setting, I'm going to go over here to that sequence and I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and show you the sequence setting. And it's 1920 by 1080. Even though my footage was in 4K, so double the frame size of what you see here, I just reduced it here because HD is what I wanna do for Instagram 16 by nine. And I just lowered the scale here to 50. So standard, it was 100, I just drop it down to 50. So this is one size. The next size is your square format. Now the size for this is 1080 by 1080. So let me show you that sequence setting. You have 1080 by 1080. Same footage, you could have the same project here, it's the exact same shot, but it's being cropped in a square format. You could still do this on Instagram. And this is the most preferred way on Instagram because it will take up the most amount of space on the page, or you could do four by five, and this is what this is gonna look like. Let me go ahead and press play on that. You could see this one takes even more space and it's recommended for doing Instagram ads. Let me go ahead and right click on this and show you the sequence setting for that. And the size for four by five aspect ratio is 1080 by 1350. Now exporting any one of these sizes is the same process and is the same settings, but I just wanted to show you resolution of frame size first. Now let's go ahead and export the 16 by nine version here. I'll go up here to file and we'll go down to export and media. Now we'll go through these sequence settings one at a time. You have format, so H.264 is what you want here. This will give you an MP4 file, which is the preferred format for just about any social media platform. On preset, I'm going to change this to custom. So scroll all the way up and choose custom because we are going to put in our own numbers. Next, output name. Go ahead and name your file, click this. Choose a destination here, name your file and press save. So that's where it will be saved. Now let's come down here under video because we want to change a couple of different settings. First, basic video settings. My footage was in 4K, so it's trying to bring that 4K width and height, but I'm gonna match the source, which was 1920 by 1080. That's the sequence I created for this project to start with, so that's what I wanna do here. 
Now it's gonna gray out some of these other things. My frame rate is what I shot the video on. This is shot on a drone at 23,978 or 24 frames. And Instagram accepts anything up to 30 frames. Right now, it doesn't accept higher frame rates, but that may change in the future. Now, let's keep going here. Everything else should be grayed out, but this is the section that matters the most. Bit rate settings. Now, let me show you what you need to do. Click this, and you have constant bit rate, which I don't recommend, and you have one pass variable bit rate and two pass variable bit rate. We are going to want to do two pass because it's actually gonna go through your video twice, giving you the best results. So if you're not in a rush, do two pass. If you have to get this out quicker, one pass. Let's do two pass. And your bit rate target is the number you care about the most. Now for 4K video, this is actually the right bit rate. But since we're doing 1080p for Instagram, I do 12 on this line for target bit rate and maximum bit rate, depending on how fancy my graphics are, I raise a bit higher. So I'll go to 20. This one is just a footage of a sunset, so there's not that much going on here. So it's gonna probably stay around the 12 bit rate. Now, whatever you do with your bit rate, it's gonna change your file size. So this is 24 megabytes. Just to show you, if I change this one to 20, you can see now I'm at 40 megabytes. So you could play around with this. And this is basically a compromise between quality and file size, but 12, based on a lot of testing, gets you the best results on Instagram feed with HD video. Next, you have one more setting that could alter your quality, and that is maximum render quality. I would check this on. Again, this does improve your quality, but slows down the export speed. So again, this depends on how much time you have and the speed of your computer, but I'll check it on. That's pretty much everything I need to do here and I could go ahead and press export. And as you can see here, it says pass one of two. The one pass will only go through this process one time. The two pass will go through this process two times. Now the export for different resolution and frame sizes is exactly the same. You put the same exact numbers, nothing needs to change in that export setting. Once you're done, I usually use Instagram's Creator Studio, which you could find at business.facebook.com to upload my video, or I use Dropbox or AirDrop to send it to my phone and post from my phone. But from the computer here, all I have to do is go ahead and add content to a new post and choose File Upload, and now I could choose that video I just exported to my desktop, and it will export right here. Now, 16 by nine videos will look like this on Instagram, so if you wanted to fill the whole frame, you should go with the square or the four by five aspect ratio. But I have different videos on how to post exactly on Instagram, how to add hashtags properly to get more views. I have a whole webinar training, in fact, on getting more followers and monetizing Instagram. All those resources are in the description below this video, so you could check it out there. Now, I hope you found this useful. I have over 200 videos on this channel just on Instagram. So if you wanna really master Instagram, check those out or some other resources, including the webinar that we talked about earlier in the video. Thanks again for your time. Please give it a thumbs up and I hope to catch you next time.